Philophallic Electors. Today we're going to be talking about Fantastic Four, Marvel's Invisible Woman. Now this version comes with Herbie. And if you are a longtime Marvel fan, you know who Herbie is. So on the side here, we can see Invisible Woman. On the back here, we have Invisible Woman with Herbie. And if I bring it in a little bit closer and shift it up, we can get a little bit of that wording in. So on the side here, we have the same artwork. So with the pull in the scale, we can see that Invisible Woman and Herbie are coming in at 6.6 .6 ounces. So let's get them off the scale and out of the box. Okay, now that we have them out of the box, let's take a look at what they come with. So Susan Storm comes with her hand that's turning invisible. And you can see here it is on a hinge with a peg. So it just inserts in and can rotate and flop back and forth. So here we have Herbie. If you are a Fantastic Four fan, you remember Herbie from the cartoons. If not, go and watch them. They're pretty hilarious. So here we can see the wacky face of Herbie. Head rotates on a ball joint. And he has a peg stand. Now as far as Sue Storm is concerned, we'll go ahead and pull her in and look at the hair that she has here in the Fantastic Four and this arm that is turning invisible. And she has the normal Fantastic Four colors on there. And a peg hole in the back. Now she can look up pretty good. Down right and left arms have a nice t-pose and can rotate around they do have a single bend at the elbow see here it's on the peg hinge same thing with the wrist the peg hinge now she will have a nice ab crunch here our chest upper chest crunch and there we go down, mind the gap. Now she doesn't have any waist articulation, but she can still rotate at the top for a little bit of that movement. As far as the leg's concerned, she can do this much of a split and forward and back. She does have an upper thigh swivel as well as a double bend in the knee. And she will have the hinge ball, no, I'm sorry. The hinge peg at the ankle that can give you some rotation and also a little bit of side to side rotation she does have two holes for her feet for stands and they are the rather large version so just be aware i'm using c2 on my fig arts stands so she's using the lo the largest hole where some use the mid, the B range. So I found this figure out in the toy swap meet. It's not sold anymore in stores, so that's probably where you'll have to find it. Either in a stop shop that's brick and mortar or online through Amazon in even sometimes Walmart or eBay. So until next time, remember, oops, one more thing I forgot. Oh. She is a Marvel Legends figure. She is coming in at six and a quarter. With the stand, Herbie is standing at five and three quarters, but Herbie himself is only three and a half inches tall. He does fit, she does fit in with Marvel Legends figures for today. So now, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.